Hey, what's up? Lightbelt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2010, excuse me, 2012 original film, Big Time Movie. So this came out on uh, Nickelodeon uh, March 10th, 2012. If my calculations are correct, today is March 10th, 2022. That means it's the 10 year anniversary of Big Time Movie, which aired on Nickelodeon March 10th, 2012. Can you believe it, it has been 10 years since this film first premiered? Bro, I cannot express how much I've loved Big Time Rush for the last, what, 10, 11, 12, 13 years? Long time. Long, long time. 2009 is when the uh, first episode technically premiered. It was the Big Time Audition. It was the hour-long special of November 2009. Then in January 2010, that's when the second uh, episode, School of Rock, actually premiered. So eh, we use that as the reference point, the kickstarting point. So it's been... 12, 13 years of the of the band of the show. Um, they're back. They're they're doing another another set of tours across North America. Um, still going strong. There was a seven year hiatus. They were doing their own thing for a while. The band is back. The boys are back. So this film, it's very quick. It's an hour and eight minutes long. It's uh, it's just it's it's like an extended episode of Big Time Rush. It's just the slapstick humor and the whoosh sounds every time someone you know smacks someone or does something, and it's it's. It's entertaining. It's supposed to be entertaining. It's it's just fun. It's it's fast. It's exciting. So we're big time rush boys, uh Logan James, Carlos, and who else am I forgetting? Logan James, Carlos. Kendall. Why could I get I couldn't get the cuss sound out? Kendall. There we go. Kendall Kendall Schmidt plays Kendall Knight in the show. Alongside his mom and alongside his younger sister Katie. Um Kelly's back, Gustavo's back, everybody's back. So they're all going to London uh, to kickstart their world tour. And they inadvertently get the wrong backpack at the airport, which is a secret spy device. And then they get thrown into the world of Spidem, um, trying to save the world alongside starting their world tour. So it's it's slapstick humor, but throughout the entire thing, they're singing Beatles songs. And they're basing all of the adventure off of Carlos's dream of them becoming spies and saving a princess and destroying an evil mastermind. It's fun, it's fast, it's it's exciting. And I already said that, which is great. What what I find very entertaining about Big Time Rush is that it's been 10 years. It's been 10 years. So I wish I had confetti or something to just throw into the air. 10 years ago, this this came out. I remember watching it 10 years ago. I was with a certain group of friends. We we um, would just always play their music. We would always just laugh our asses off at the TV show. Like, I have such great memories with Big Time Rush, and that's what's great about it. I might not see these friends anymore. I might not talk to these friends anymore. Um, but I still have these memories. I still have these great, great memories about just constant laughter and and excitement and sing-alongs to BTR. And that cannot escape my mind. The, the constant memories of joy and fun um, with the irreverent humor is just always going to stay with me. I'm very grateful to them for for allowing me to have that. Um, it, it's just such a great show, a great group. They've been no, the problematic. They've not not had any problems, non problematic group um, since they started. There's never been a scandal. There's never been a conspiracy. It's just always been the four of them doing their thing and and doing a great job for it. I wish they got more recognition than they actually got, but. Uh, here is to their 13th year of being a band, uh, starting out on another North American tour. I wish nothing but the best for all of them and their beautiful future lives and families to come. <laughs> wish you mahalo.